project tree. Originally Valencia Pride and converting it to ice cream. All these young grafts I really want to protect from the hurricane. So I am going to use uh, some poly tape and also I'm going to do a little experiment and uh, some of them I'll put uh, bands on and some I will use the, this um, paraffin tape. So that's Get going on that. You can see, you know, the rubber band is doing, or the uh, rubber strip, I guess, is doing what it's supposed to. It, it degrades in the sunlight. And of course, we want it to be strong right now. So I'll wrap this around and see if hopefully that will be enough to protect this from the storm. This is paraffin tape. And of course, while I'm here, I can put back these leaves here. This one, you can tell it's already separated. That was the first round, and this is the second. We grafted a little bit lower on this branch here, and uh, so this is doing nicely. Uh, but again, I'm going to reinforce every one of these unions on the tree. And of course, got to cut back. To Ability to move the branch and also reduce the chance that, that this whole thing would get ripped off. Leaves will grow back, but grafts won't grow back. You gotta do them again, so it's good to. Oh, here's one here that. Not sure. it's it's got a green bud, but I'm not sure if that's gonna make it or not. It's, it's pressure. This first one failed. Uh, I think I'll come back and wrap that. But let's go check on something else. Here, here we have two that have taken, and uh, both have rubber bands but they need something else something more and one on the other side it's is just starting to uh, leaf out here so that's also a good one to wrap this one is this is all ni nice hardened off growth I'll take off this new growth completely and then trim the other leaves back. Uh, you know, it'll just make for more branching here. But also, I, I will do the same, wrapping this with the paraffin tape here, uh, so that this will um, have more of a chance of surviving the storm. Check on a few more things here. I've after the storm, I'll come back and cut this one off, but right now it can be protection for its little buddy here that's actually grafted. So I'll cut back these leaves, reinforce that union. Here's uh, some grafts way up here, so I um, have to remember that they are here and, and uh, wrap the paraffin tape there around those. Here's a lovely new graft, nice young shoot. And so, same thing there. This is, looks like it's vulnerable. There's nothing, no graft going on on that particular one, and it will, it will pull this whole branch back and forth. So we'll just take that off and take most of this one off. No grafts on those high ones, and then we'll come back and reinforce the grafts that are here 
this one. I'm not sure what's going on. It doesn't look like it's good for, you know. It sprouted out three different times from this wood, and now it looks like it's dying. So I'm not sure if some wind jiggled this enough to break that union. That's my guess. But yeah, I won't waste a lot of time with that one. Whatever happens, happens, or has already happened, probably. This looks like a fail here. It still looks a little green in some areas, but that doesn't look promising. And uh, this whole whole branch here is split, or is uh, right here. So. This is not, you know, I haven't grafted onto this one at all, and I'm glad that, because I think it would be wasted effort. We want to go into some some healthy things. Now, it could have been a branch falling on top of this one, um, but, yeah, once the storm is over, I'll cut this whole branch out. And, um, so anyway, that's my first project of the day. I've... It's been a month since we last looked at this tree. Our first video on top working the tree was cutting it back. The second video was grafting onto the new growth. And now this is our third video, which involves cutting the tree back again. And this time we're gonna be cutting back the Valencia Pride growth so that more of the resources go to the new grafts. Uh, the timing of this is a little bit strange because we just went through Hurricane Irma. So that set this tree back a little bit but I think it still is a good time to come back and uh, work on the tree a little bit. Okay, so this little healthy, vigorous sprout is the Valencia Pride, and of course we want this one to grow. In this situation, I'm just gonna cut back this far. We'll come back in another couple weeks after this has older leaves. This is very young still and we want to make sure that there's plenty of food coming up this stem for it. Here's the same situation. This one is still young. I'll leave a couple leaves on this sprout and we'll come back check that out in a couple weeks. This one we could graft on too. Here we go. Um, this is, is too tall but I grafted on here uh, let's see if I can cut through with this. Cut all of this Valencia Pride off. And then we have, yeah, we have a little shoot coming out of this. We don't need that. This is the Valencia Pride. This is the ice cream. So we'll wait for these leaves to get a little older before we take this off. Here's a situation where Irma took one of the uh, shoots off of this. This is the ice cream and we have to trim off that to get back to healthy wood. So we'll trim back some of this Valencia Pride here. Good. So this stays active but gives the two little ice cream shoots more uh, exposure to sunlight. Here. This almost looks black but it's alive. We've got these young leaves coming out of it. I'll just trim this back a little bit. And this Valencia Pride shoot, we don't need that at all. We've got a successful graft here, here, and on the other two on the other side. So we'll just take this off entirely. This might be an interesting place for a future graft, so I'll leave that there. Here's one uh, that looks like it's it's pretty far along. I probably could cut all of the Valencia Pride off, but I'm going to leave this one little shoot for now. Here's a, these shoots when I graft onto them will make lovely places um, for new growth because they will help heal this wound. Uh, so I'm going to cut down, cut off the lower ones, and these uh, we will come back and graft on to. Don't need these down here either. 
This is a fairly old wood, and apparently this one did not take. This is, is brittle, so I'm going to just take this whole branch off. So, this whole uh, branch needs to come off. This is not healthy for the tree. This is never going to be a vigorous uh, branch because of this. And so it's better to take it off now and rather than have it just slowly wither and die. This kind of situation with new leaves, that is when very young leaves are exposed to extreme wind. So this particular branch was one we were keeping on the tree just to keep it active when we cut it back originally. Right now, I'm gonna cut it off. It starts over on this side of the tree and then goes over here. And so that's long-term is not a good situation for this. So but I'm gonna take this branch out because it starts over here on this side of the tree and curves underneath this major branch. As this branch grows, it's gonna start rubbing against this branch. So it's not a good place for this. So we'll just take it out completely. This is, was a successful graft, and the top got blown off of it. I don't know if this is going to come back or not. It still looks green. We'll leave it and hope. Here's a, also a successful graft. Was wind damaged here. We'll have to cut that off. We have another shoot coming out of this side. That's good. And then two little buds. So that's a a very promising situation. I'll cut off the end of this. Have more of that energy going to the graft. This is actually a little branch. I'm gonna, on the Valencia Pride side, I'll cut that off so that, the beginnings of a branch, so that the um, ice cream mango can have more sunlight. Oh, let's see what we have here. This is a failed graft. Uh, it's very brittle, and so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this off completely. We have a successful one over here. Another successful one here, another wind damage. You see that right here, this is a point of weakness, so we just take it off completely. And we have two shoots left, since they're young, I'm just going to take off part of that branch. Uh, this one doesn't look like anything's on it. i take off only part of it. We're still not sure about that one. Uh, let's see, so this is good. Cut this back here. Just for a little longer. This, these could stand on their own in another couple weeks. As I said that the hurricane sort of set this, this tree back a little bit. Those things had to be, new grass had to be cut back. See, this one is also successful. This is the shoot here. Now I will take off the Lencia Pride and set for two leaves. After this gets a little bit larger, we'll come back and, and uh, take off the rest of the Valencia Pride. This whole branch here is not particularly strong. It's got a few wounds in it. We've got these other... Uh, this is all Valencia Pride. And we've got some ice cream mango grafts around. So this eventually this one will come out, uh, I guess better sooner than later.
right here is a wound and then we have looks like a broken branch old broken branch has a wound here and then this one on the side so we'll cut below here uh, this this wound and if it sprouts out we might graft onto it uh, we do have this right here to graft onto and this one and of course this one is is one that we're going to take out eventually next next time we pass this tree probably uh, let's see what we have here so this is a successful graft we have two ice cream shoots coming out of that particular scion leave it at that for now. We have another successful graft right up here. With two, two shoots. This was the first one. You see how this uh, scion almost looks black, so you can't really go by the color of the scion. Uh, you know, you really have to wait for it to be uh, dehydrated to give up hope on it completely. Uh, this branches and might have been from the wind but blown into there uh, since we have a successful graft here and here and this is closer to this this wound on the tree where we cut uh, cut the tree back I'm just going to eliminate this branch entirely situation for this one we can thin this out we'll leave this for now here's another successful graft right here it's got three shoots coming out of that scion and so I will cut cut the Valencia pride here give it a little still has two leaves to help this and I'll come back next time and cut it all the way so, it's another graft in here. That's successful. And I'm just going to cut back. It has one leaf on the Valencia Pride still helping it. But that should open up some sunshine for that particular situation. Um, here's a... You have to look carefully before you cut anything when you're top working a tree. Because here we have a graft on the other side. Uh, so. I'm only cut, cutting off part of this long branch because I want, of course, the graft to stay. This branch is flapping all over here. It's a young shoot that's nothing, nothing is grafted onto. So I'm just going to take that out entirely. Here we have a successful graft. I'll leave that. This. It's still young, so I'll leave that. Okay, this branch doesn't have any grafts on it. So this particular branch had a graft on it, which is no longer there. Uh, so I'm going to just take this back. We have two and possibly a third, if that makes it, graphs already on this, this particular branch. So I'm going to take this one out, this, this larger branch. It's the one that was e either failed or got blown off. And then I'll get... I'll use the saw to make a cut here, so we will have three branches out of that um, particular area. <laughs> so we'll need to come back and visit this tree in another month and Hopefully we'll have it all converted then. 
there's a few more places to graft onto. We've got a lot of the Valencia Pride cut off now, and so the energy should be going to the ice cream mango grafts. And so we're, this tree is, is almost done, even though it looks really small at this point. But the main thing is that we uh, trimmed it. I trimmed it so that it would have specific areas to graft the ice cream mango on. And it's also, uh, I wanted to have the ice cream mango off of the ground so that the air circulation would keep the fruit clean. And also I wanted to have a two dimensional tree because it's along the fence. So, so far it's look, looking really good. It seems to be working out very well. The hurricane, as I said, you know, set us back a little bit. But after, I think, I think, I think, after another month, it will be completed and we'll just need to make sure that new Valencia Pride sprouts don't um, cut, you know, sprout out.